With my first ever preseason game only a few days away, I've been practicing all week, getting things down, learning new passing routes, but I just can't shake the pressure. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'm going to go into this game with my head high and see if I can get this win against the Chicago Bears. Let's get it on. Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. In today's game, we'll have to keep an eye on two running backs who truly excel in the passing game. It's Matt Forte going up against LaShawn McCoy. Now we'll go down to Soldier Field for this matchup. Eagles, Bears on EA Sports as we get set for the opening week of preseason football in the NFL. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims just prior to kickoff for this primetime extravaganza and this adds another whole layer of excitement when you have this game under the lights. I think you said it right center stage players love it anytime you turn on the lights they know it's special and it brings out the emotion out of these players and also though let's don't forget the fans they've been here all afternoon getting ready so we're going to have a loud crowd also. Back deep is the human spark plug, Darren Sproles in his 10th season out of Kansas State. And Robbie Gold looks ready to get this one underway. Well, it looks like Chip Kelly has finally called my number for yet again another field goal, but it's fourth and seven. Now, I was known for going for it on fourth back in high school and even in college at Penn State. I was that guy that people could trust to get those yards that were needed, even if it took a trick play. Now here we got a nice little pass over to Ertz, and it is completed. We picked up eight yards on that play. They got the first down. Now let me go sit my black behind back down on the bench because that's all I'm good for, for downs. Now I come back into the game with yet another situation. It's fourth and three. We only need a 31-yard field goal, but I believe here that we can get our team into the end zone, even in the end zone with a pass from me. But, as many people will say, preseason jitters are not a god darn fluke. I just got my behind sack. The myth is real. Your boy got the jitters out here, man. My hands are shaking. After that tackle, Chip Kelly literally chewed my behind out, told me to go sit down on the bench, and told me I wasn't going to get into the game until the second quarter. That's how pissed off he was at me. Coming into the game with six and a half minutes left in the second quarter, the coach finally calls my number, and it's time for me to line up behind center. Now, it's second and eight. We only got two yards on that first play. It was a nice little run play. But what I can say is I'm so shaky right now. I don't even want to snap the ball. But I snapped the ball, and I got circle on a nice little curl, but it doesn't work, man. I throw the interception. Right now, I'm, I, like, I just want to take my helmet off, go into the locker room, because that was a stupid play, man. Fuller just jumped the route. He got the interception. I don't know what I was doing there. I should have read the defense better. I need to go sit down, man. Maybe the coach will call my number again. Now, after that pick six, you couldn't tell me that Mac Barkley wasn't going to come in to take over for this offense, but Chip Kelly still believes in me, and I'm just here to do anything that I can, man. We're on the 40-yard line, third and one. I just want to show the coach that I belong here. I don't want to be cut. I don't want to go to another team. So I get the nice little read option, go up the middle, and that guy missed that tackle, so I got the first down to go. Getting the crowd hype, doing what I need to do, seeing if there are any Eagles fans in Chicago right now. But as long as I move the chains, everything is good. Now, we're in the red zone on the 20-yard line. It's first and 10. I have a lot of time left on the clock, and I have... Not that much field to go, so let's see if I can do something here. Reading the defense, nice little play action. I got triangle wide open, man. Sean McCoy is one of the fastest people in the NFL, man. And that shows it right there, man. Put him at wide receiver on play action. It's good to bring McCoy in on the second team, man. I had to bring in a lot of receivers. And McCoy just happened to get his number called, man. I'm glad I just got my first touchdown with McCoy. Now, it's the two-minute warning. Nick Foles, I don't even know what he's doing right now. He just keeps running over the coach, telling him that I ain't shit right now, telling him take that rookie out and put me back in. 
But it's okay, man. I'm going to try to put the offense on my shoulders. I'm going to try to do what needs to be done, man. But I'm still shaky, man. That pick six really turned me out. Like, I'm, I'm just so... I don't even know how to explain it right now. But I get the offense up to the line. I line up behind center. Get the nice little play action play to go. And I think that I have triangle wide open, but I get it picked again. That's the second pick of the day. One pick six. One pick. And right now, I just need to walk to the sideline with my head down. Because I'm not doing what needs to be done. Now, the coach brings me back in with in the third quarter. And he's telling me right now, if we don't keep this lead, I may be cut. Literally. He told me that as I went out on the field. So I'm doing everything that I need to do. Calling defenses. Shifting lines. Making sure my running back has the protection. And trust me, the running game will be used a lot for the rest of the game. I'm so scared to pass it. I'm so scared to get it picked off again that I'm willing to call run plays all the way upfield. We are now running gun team. It is no longer a passing team. We are run and gun. So I'm going to call a run play, see if I can get my back the protection he needs, making sure we can switch things up. I give it to Sproles. He takes it, and he's up the field. Nice. That's a first down, man. We needed that. We needed that big time. Now, we're in the red zone, second and goal. We have plenty of time here. I'm going to call a nice little read option. I know you guys see it. Uh. Now, check out the god darn touchdown there. I know a lot of people thought I was going to keep it there, but like I told you guys, man, the pressure is on. I'm scared to make any mistakes, so I had to let the back keep it. It wasn't no ends, ifs, or buts about it. I just let the back just run it in, man. But it's funny that he got a touchdown, but he got knocked back about five yards. <laughs> but it's all good. He still got the touchdown. It still counts on the board, and we are up 21-7. to Now, let's skip to me. Let's see what happens. All right, so they don't score here. We're still up 21-7, and it's a minute and a half left in the third quarter. I'm coming up to the line, bringing the line up slow. Make sure guys have a little bit of stamina. Now, I know you guys see the play-action play. And this play right here is not one of my favorites, but I do get the pass off. And guess what? I get it picked again. I know a lot of people are probably like, why are you throwing in the rain? What is wrong with you? You want to know what's wrong with me? I'm scared to get cut. I have to put yards on the board. I have to put touchdowns on the score table. I, I need something here, man. So we call a nice little play action here, and I get the ball off but I still get hit hard I'm getting rattled in the pocket if I step outside the pocket that's my ass I'm just doing everything wrong here it's now fourth and eight and I don't want to kick a field goal I want to see if we can get a touchdown here I got to do something to impress coach I know Chip is on the sideline like this dude <laughs> he has a lot of work to do so I go to a curl flats I've been on a lot of curl flats work with uh, coaching practice and I'm gonna see if I can get it to go here trying to put the mass protection on I'm just gonna go straight to the curl here making sure I got guys going long now you guys see man I got one guy going long and I got a flat so now with one second left I get the snap off I see somebody open yes we got Matthews on the comeback things are good we got the first down coach shouldn't be pissed at me anymore now a second and goal I'm going to try my best to get into the end zone here. Let's see if I can make it happen. Nice little play action, and I pass it at the end of me. I literally could have jumped over the line, but the reason that I didn't jump over the line is because when I press square, it threw it to the receiver. Even though we got the touchdown here, it was not the type of touchdown that I wanted, man. I wanted to impress Coach with me jumping over the line, putting my body on the line for a touchdown, but... I ended up throwing some crazy pass, but at least the receiver caught it. That's okay with me. Now, it's fourth quarter, 18 seconds left. The Chicago Bears did score, but of course you're not going to be able to see that play. But I'm just trying anything here, and I almost get it picked off. Oh, my goodness. I don't want, I don't want to get it picked off, man. So I go with a max cover punt. I call the timeout because I want to try something, but to no avail, it doesn't work. So, it looks like this game is about to be over, guys. We lead 28-14. to 14. 
And that's it. That's all she wrote. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to do a couple things different next week. I'm going to definitely have to practice more with Chip. I got to get my XP points up. I need to get my awareness up. I, I need to definitely stop throwing picks. And I definitely can't get any more pick sixes. That was just a, it was a terrible showing by me, man. I threw way too many picks. <sighs> what a memorable game this truly was. For Phil Sims, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC never say never moment of the game. Well, you know what kind of sucks, guys? The GMC moment of the game is not any of my plays. Not one of my touchdowns. The GMC never say never moment of the game is when I got my behind pick sixth. Darn it hurts. But let's check out some post game stats. I want to check out my uh, passing yards, my completions, and I don't even want to see my interceptions. But it's all right. But uh, let me know how you guys are liking the Madden NFL Connected Franchise Series. You know I'm saying go ahead, you know, jab that punch button real quick, you know. Definitely leave me a comment in the comment section if you guys want to see anything else. Um, I know for sure that I'm going to be trying out Mutt this year. So Mutt and Connect the Franchise will be uh, something that I'll be playing for a while. Um, also, to the people that said I'm not going to play Madden once 2K comes out, that is a lie. <laughs> Peace, y'all. Year, this is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.